Introducing chapter six, the calculus of variations. I remember learning a little bit about calculus of variations as an undergraduate and then learning how to really do it as a graduate student. It is one of the most fascinating and amazing tools that you can use in physics. Um, the basic idea is to find a function that extremizes an integral. So what do I mean by extremize? I mean either to minimize it or to maximize it. So this integral has some function that's the integrand, f. And that function, it's, it's actually called a functional because it's a function of a function. So f is a function of the function y of x and its derivative y prime dy dx as well as x. So you might have some function, function of a function and its derivatives, f being called a functional. And what we're trying to do is extremize this integral. This all sounds really weird, but we'll do uh, an example in just a second here. The answer to the uh, problem of the calculus of variations in order to find that extremum, the minimum or the maximum, is that f must obey a differential equation. So what we've done in the calculus of various variations problem is to convert an integral problem into a differential problem, a differential equation. So, um, so that is the statement of the calculus of variations problem, and uh, that's the statement right here. And this is the uh, statement of the equation needed to solve this integral problem. So this is how, um, this is in a practical way, what you do to solve this problem. Yeah, is you have to solve this equation. And it's called the Euler-Lagrange equation.